Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're here with Roxy and her Astro minivan. And uh, a year ago now, it's hard to believe it's been about a year it's since we year, started yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, I asked Roxy to test out some devices for me. Uh, because you're one of the most adventurous people I know. Uh, Roxy really likes to go back into the back country and I thought, uh, and then hike when she's there. And then I thought she'd be the perfect person to test out some of these devices. The question I get a lot is, if I go into the back country uh, and I get in trouble, or if I'm somewhere there's no cell phone reception, how am I going to stay in touch? And so Roxy has the answer for that uh, with these devices. So Roxy, and now this will be the one year uh, review, final review. Yeah, yeah. And I, I told Roxy I, I would she could take all these devices. I bought them, paid for them with my money. There's no sponsorship here. Uh, and at the end of the year, uh, drum roll please, da 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 <laughs> she gets to choose one and keep it. And uh, so it forces her to choose between the three devices, uh, pluses, minuses, and this is the one. So, Roxy, here we are. Uh, do you want to go over the devices and then tell us your choice? Okay, yeah, briefly. So um, one, of, one of the beacons that we tested was the ACR Rescue Link, and this is just a very basic rescue um, thing. You can't do anything else with it. You can't text people, you can't post things to Facebook, you can't do tracking or anything like that. Um, it's just a very simple device. You just flip up the antenna, push the device, uh, push the button, <laughs> and help is on the way. Um, so I. I didn't choose this one for the fact that um, it can't do anything else. It can't get you roadside assistance um, or anything. It's strictly a rescue beacon. So, and very, you've got to be really have tried every single last um, thing you can try. You know, try hobbling out whatever first. And uh, if you still can't make it, then you can activate this. It is for absolute emergencies only. You hit that button, it goes straight to the government, and search and rescue is coming out, period. Helicopters, guys on horses, big money is being sent when they get that signal. And if it's a false alarm, if you just were thirsty and didn't have any reason, you'll probably get a fine and a bill for the helicopters, the horses, and the whole thing. So this is a last resort. I'm about to die only. The big advantage is it has no monthly costs. All, both the others have monthly costs. You buy this one thing, and no matter what, they're also technically better. No matter where you are, it's much more likely to work. So if that fits your need, then it's a great choice. Um, but if it doesn't, if that doesn't fit your need, last resort, I will get connection, I will be saved, then that's not for you. And it wasn't obviously for you. No, it wasn't for me. And they're in the $260 range, but once you've used it, that you, you can only use it one time, but they do replace it afterwards. There's a company that replaces it for free. The other one that we tested was the InReach Explorer, and they do have a newer model of this out now, so I'm sure you'll have a link for that if you're interested in it. Um, and I really loved this. I had a hard time um, deciding between this and the spot. Um, it does a lot of things. You've got tracking, you can do um, navigation, you can send messages. Um, probably the best feature is that um, you can text messages back and forward to people. And that was wonderful, I thought. Um, well you know, someone is probably thinking, well, I could do that with my smartphone. Why would I want that? Yeah, but this, of course, is satellite, so you can do it where you cannot get a cell, a cell phone uh, signal. So um, this is a satellite GPS unit, and you can Facebook and text and things even when you don't get cell phone reception. Um, and you can also do the SOS. You can do a check-in. Um, the one thing you can't do is get roadside assistance. And that was one of the things that I was really looking for. Um, you can text a friend or a family member and ask them to send your road 
you know, your insurance company out or whoever it is that has your roadside assistance. Um, but then you've got to pay for the cost of the towing. If you're 35 miles down a dirt road in the middle of Utah and you get stuck or you break down, you're going to have to pay for the towing out and that can cost a lot of money. Thousands. Thousands of dollars in some instances. Um, especially if they come out and find they haven't come out with the right equipment or, or something, you know. Anyway, um, that was one of the reasons I didn't choose this. Um, the cost for this is around, it's about $15 a month with all the little hidden fees they have. Um, and probably 180 a year, um, but it doesn't have the roadside assistance with it. So that is why I didn't choose this. And the other reason, um, and it's kind of my own personal thing here, is that while I had this, I had a connection with the outside world and I found myself being distracted from nature because I kept going over to it like I would my cell phone and um, check it to see if I had any messages or anything. So it was actually distracting me from just being on my own in nature because I could get in touch with the outside world. And for myself, that was a biggie. <laughs> so the $15 a month, 180 a year, that gave you quite a bit of use on it? It gave you um, as many check-ins as you wanted and um, 10 text messages. So that would be five out and five coming back in. Um, if you needed more than that, you could pay for them. Um, I think we're going to do a blog post and it'll have a lot more information with pictures of the uh, different subscriptions they have. It gets kind of complicated. So, um, but you could pay it monthly or annually um, and probably save a little bit of money annually. I think it comes to about $180. So here's the drum roll. <laughs> this is the one I chose, uh, the Spark 3. Um, it's very basic. And that was one of the things I was looking for, was for ease of use. Um, the inReach is a little complicated if you are not into little devices and texting and all this stuff. Um, the Spark has your basic necessities. It's got a uh, check-in. Um, so you can let your family and friends know where you are. It's got uh, tracking if you want to just keep a nice little track. Your family can actually follow you on your hike. Um, it has another button you can press to send a, a message um, other than just like a check-in message. If you wanted to let your family know you needed help, that you could push that one. Um, has the SOS feature. so. If you're on the trail, you break a leg and you need help, you can get help. And then it has another button, which initially is another way of sending a message out. But um, when we purchased this, we purchased the SOV with it, which is Save Our Vehicle. And this button then becomes totally dedicated to roadside assistance. So you have all these basic features. Now, the spot costs $149 a year for the basic service, and for $30 extra, you can add the Save Our Vehicle, the SOV feature, which they will come out and tow your vehicle from anywhere, no matter how remote you are, on a dirt road, in the middle, 30 miles down a dirt road, they'll come out at no extra charge to you. And um, that just costs $30 a year on top of the $149, so it comes like $199 a year. And you have all your basic necessities covered. Anything that can go wrong, you can be rescued with this. And that's primarily why I chose this spot, um, is because of the roadside assistance. I go out on my own, and that has always been one of my biggest concerns, is breaking down in the middle of nowhere and then having a huge bill plus a repair bill, you know, a huge towing bill plus a repair bill on top of it. Um, and for just $30 a year, um, I can get towed out of anywhere. You get five call outs 
per year for that additional $30. And to me, that was what sold me on the spot. And I think if you had, if you had the money to pay for um, being towed out of somewhere and that was no issue to you, I would choose the inReach. But if it's a financial choice, and for me it is, I chose the spot. So if they, they're both, these two are both by the same company. If, yeah. if De Delorme started offering uh, the SOV, the Save Our Vehicles, with the inReach, you would have chosen it. I would have chosen the inReach if they, they offered the same feature, yeah, the Save Our Vehicle as the spot, without a doubt. Because it would cost about, it would only cost fractionally more than this one. Especially for that price. Yeah. Thirty dollars a year is just nothing, and uh, you've used it once. I have used it once, yes. <laughs> Tell us about that. Um, I was on Trail Ridge Road in Rocky Mountain National Park. I wasn't in a um, wouldn't exactly call it a remote location, but there was no cell phone reception there, and people just kept driving by. I had my hood up, but nobody stopped to see if I needed help. Um, so I did actually activate the SOV, it was a good time to um, test it out, and they did come out. And I actually have a, a video on my YouTube channel um, on that if you want to watch it. My YouTube channel is Nomad for Nature, you just type in that, you should find it. Um, I also have a blog, if you don't have the data for YouTube, I have all these posts on my blog which is, again, Nomad for Nature, and it's a WordPress blog. Very good. So the bottom line is you now own a spot, and uh, you have uh, your own uh, roadside assistance. I do. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I'll probably give them away. or maybe either, I think they're all kind of technologically too difficult for me. I may keep this, because why not? Why not have this on the rig? Yeah. I've already paid for it. Yeah. So And just to know that at any time I can get help from anywhere in the country, that is a real yeah. comfort. So uh, I'm sure I'll keep this one just in the rig for myself. And the inReach was a little, you know, it, it sounded too complicated for me. I'm not technical, you're not technically savvy, but you're more technically savvy than I am. <laughs> yeah, I actually, um, actually got a cell phone to you. I didn't even have a smartphone before that. You can pair this with a smartphone. And I didn't have one prior to that. So I had to learn a smartphone and that. Um, and it was a little complicated. I think, you know, for some people it would be easy, but purely for ease of use, this would be my choice. And still has some nice little features, you know, where you can let family know where you're at and stuff. And I just do want to say, these are just my opinions. My thought process here is just basically for myself and maybe people like me. And to, you know, get you, um, thinking yourself, maybe it'll give you an idea which one would uh, work best for you. I'm not necessarily saying this is the one you should get or anything like that. So you, you have the information to make your own decision. Any one of these will get you out of an absolutely horrible situation. The spot will make it give you a lot of added value. This will let you text from the middle of nowhere, uh, number of, a number of other advantages. So. It's just whatever works best for you. So there you have it. It's all good information. I hope it served you well. Uh, anything else, Roxy, we need to throw in before we go? I don't think so. I think we've covered it. Covered it all. Yeah. Okay, everyone, there you go. Uh, it's been a year. These are well tested. We know what they are and what they do. Uh, so you have to make your own choice. And uh, if, you, if you gained anything from this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later.